Louise Hazel is an Olympic heptathlete and Alan Watkinson was multiple gold medalist Mo Farah's PE teacher. Good evening to you both. Louise, did school help you get where you are today? Oh, 100%. I was really fortunate to be educated at a state school that had fantastic facilities, an astroturf, all-weather pitch, um, tennis courts and, you know, a rather large gym as well. Um, however, I did most of my athletics training away from school at ah. a local club and... Um, you know, I think had we've had a 400 metre track, who knows how many other athletes from my area would have been successful in athletics. Athletes like Mo Farah, Alan. So what did you do differently to nurture him and get him to multiple gold winning status? Uh, it was something that was always really, really close to our heart. We, we wanted to be competitive. We wanted to give our kids a chance to, to compete at, at the borough level and, and, and beyond. And, and we were pretty successful. Um, and we had a very good relationship with a local athletics club. And so... As a youngster, I, I realised pretty quickly that the information and support that I could give him um, would be limited to taking him to the athletics club and putting him in the hands of the coaches who knew what they were doing. You were saying it was close to your heart. Were you doing it out, out of the goodness of your heart and in spite of what you were meant to be doing as a teacher, perhaps? I, I just loved, loved the competitive element of sport and, and um, loved athletics and loved watching athletics. Um, I think we have a res huge responsibility as PE teachers. I, I was given a great experience myself from a, from a great PE staff at, at school. And, and I think that you know, PE teachers have that responsibility to give every single child the opportunity to, um, to, to have an experience in sport that's good. But as things stand, Louise, that's, that's not happening. So how many talents like you are going by the wayside, do you think? I mean, there must be hundreds, maybe thousands. Um, and I think it's great to hear such support from, from PE teachers. I think perhaps where the buck falls potentially is with head teachers. Um, as I understand, these are the people who control the budgets and the money that's going into sport, school sports. And I guess whether you have a head teacher that's pro sports, then your college may do very well. But if you have a head teacher that's anti sports and you know more focused on the academics, because of course that's where schools are judged. Mm then this is perhaps where the pupils will suffer. Well, exactly. It's not their fault necessarily, is it, if heads are focusing on those figures that they're judged by? Mm, that's, I mean, that, that's, a, that's a huge problem. Um, th there are so many things and so many demands on schools, uh, and, and in particular this, this focus on, on academic attainments. Uh, and if they don't meet those, those grades and mo don't meet those, those results, then the head teachers and senior leadership teams' jobs are on the line. Um, and they, they feel that the steer from government is that they focus on English baccalaureate, they focus on these exam subjects. PE is pushed out of that English baccalaureate group of subjects and is really fighting for its space on the curriculum. There are schools that are doing one hour of PE a fortnight in certain areas and it's a shambles. Just to finish, Louise, a yes or no answer really. London's winning Olympic bid was, was founded on the premise of a legacy mm. of kids doing sport. Yes or no, have they failed? 100% they've failed. Thank you very much doubt. indeed, both of you.